Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Labuti, and I'm going to answer this question. What is one gift you have that you attribute to autism and how it affects you? Now, I'm going to go off topic for a moment here because I have this really tragic um, yet funny in retrospect story about autism and the word gift. I had been on my journey with my son with autism for close to a decade when I approached the head of one of the biggest autism conferences in the United States with an idea. I began talking enthusiastically about my discoveries along my journey and how I had come to see autism as the greatest gift of my life so far. I described the realizations and epiphanies that my son's autism had afforded me and how my connection with my son had evolved as I loosened my grip on fixing him and instead embracing him for who he is. I went on about the life-changing work I had done on myself because of my son and how my relationship with him had grown stronger because of this work. I used the word gift many times as I was describing our growth and the positive things that I wanted to share with the world. When I finally stopped talking, she had only one very strong, very angry thing to say to me. Autism is not a gift. It is a tragedy and people suffer enormous amounts of pain and agony because of it. She basically shut me down and freaked me out, I have to admit, because of her vehement opposition to what I had said. It was a good lesson for me. Not everyone is where I am in my journey with my son and autism. I learned that ignoring the struggle that people go through is not helpful. You can't go from a tragedy mindset to a gift mindset overnight. There has to be steps along the way. So I decided to take that conversation as a lesson. I fully intended on sticking to my mission of changing how the world sees autism, but I realized I had to meet people where they are, baby steps. So here's the answer to the actual question posted. I am a parent to a brilliant boy with autism and I want to share his gift because he cannot communicate sufficiently to tell you himself. Part of being autistic for him is the fact that he has hypersensitive senses. He sees, hears, and feel things, feels things that a typ typical person cannot. I know this because I have observed him with curiosity rather than a need to make him to conform, make him conform to some version of normal. He has perfect pitch. He can tell you what five notes were played simultaneously on the piano from the other room. I have seen him drop pieces of toys over and over and get close and listen to them. And when I asked what he was doing or hearing, he replied that he heard musical notes like a D or a C in specific pieces. But his visual abilities are his superpower. His school district required testing as part of his educational evaluation. He scored in the 99.9th percentile for visual spatial aptitude on the WISC-5, which is an intelligence test for children. That makes him a superhero when it comes to his visual brain. His gifts and my discovery of them have completely changed how his teachers approach him. In fact, I will not let anyone work with him if they do not completely believe in his potential. He is a brilliant boy with very hefty challenges for sure, but his gifts are what we focus on. We do not allow the deficits to be all, cons all consuming. On the contrary, he is respected and celebrated for all of him. Every single person on this planet has a gift. Can you focus your time and energy on the gift, on cultivating the gift? I'm here because I wanna change what the world believes about autism. Come on over to my website, andrealabuti.com, and I can share more ideas and thoughts and um, a different perspective on autism. I hope this helps. Thank you for listening.